All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College. And as part of the Rankin Technical College AWD 1000 Web Development Technologies class, I've been going through a series of video presentations I'm making based on the Mozilla Developer Network Learning Web Development Series. And I'm in the middle of the HTML portion of this, and we're talking about images. All right, this is the second or concluding lecture on this. And notice annotating images with figures and fig captions all right it says speaking of captions there's a number of ways you can add a caption for example there's nothing to stop you from doing this all right so in other words notice we've got a paragraph that would come right under this it says it's okay it gives you the content you need and it's can be manipulated using css but it's not semantic in other words there is nothing in that paragraph that links that paragraph to the image as far as the browser is concerned except for the fact that it is in the same div tag all right all right so it says a better solution is to use the newer html5 figure and fig caption tags so notice that rather than using divs as we used here we've got figure tags and then right underneath the image, we put an actual caption in. As it says here, these were created to provide a semantic container for figures. So the fig caption tells the browser that the caption describes the content of the figure. Okay. All right. Notice here, from an accessibility standpoint, captions and alt text have distinctive roles. Captions benefit even people who can see the image. All right. So right here with this caption that we're putting in, a T-Rex on display, that might be nicer just because of the fact somebody might look at that and go, oh, wow, there's a dinosaur. I wonder where that's being shown right now. And that's what you're showing in here. All right. Notice a figure doesn't have to be an image. It is an independent unit of content. I'll let you read that yourselves. A figure could also be several images if you wanted to set it up like that, or it could be audio or video, etc. All right. So what do they want in here? It says, we'd like you to take the finished code from the previous learning section and turn it into a figure. So wrap it into a figure element, copy the title, the text out of the title attribute, and remove etc if you make a mistake okay so let's take a quick look let's just look at the solution here so notice we've got figure in fact let's take this all right let's go back to the example we were just working on in here and let's replace right now we've got this in as just an image tag so let's get rid of this and let's replace it with this so we've got a figure that figure still has our image tag, still has our alt in it, still has our width in it, still has our height in it, and now it also has a caption in it. Again, I'm, what I'm doing, I do for me. If you don't like it, don't do it that way, please. One important thing in here is developing your own style. All right, so let's save that. This was dinosaur. I don't think it's going to look really any different. There it is. It still looks skewed. All right, you can see where this is. I don't know why it's displaying it the way that it is, but it is. So let's just do one quick thing. And that is, like I said, because I thought it made it look better, and that is to come in here remove the height and remove the width that we put in okay i think this will make it look at least a little bit better okay all right and the section here is going to conclude by talking about background images notice it says you can also use the CSS to embed images into web pages. 
all right and javascript but that's another story entirely so it's something we'll talk about a lot later if we do it all the background image property is used to control this it says for example to place the background image on every paragraph of the page we could put in this now notice the way that this looks the tag itself all right is background image that's what we're doing is we're setting the background image the way that you set this is you use a url all right now would you want to do this why would you want to do this etc all right for effect i don't know it says the resulting embedded image is easier to position so, so why bother with html images all right css background images are for decoration only if you want to add something to enhance the page it's fine it says though such images have no semantic meaning so what we're seeing right there does not have any semantic meaning all right to sum up as it says here if an image has meaning in terms of the content you should use an html image if it's purely decoration you should use a background image all right we'll, we'll hit this again in the css section talking about background images all right so as mentioned that's it for now we've covered images the figure the figure tag the fig caption tag in some detail in the next article it says we'll move it up a gear and we'll talk about how to embed video and how to embed audio inside of our web page so i'll be back with that in just a couple minutes